हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू द क्लास ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स सो इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी जस्ट लर्न अबाउट द टेस्ट ऑफ सिमिलरिटी एंड कंसल्ट प्रॉब्लम इन टूडेज वीडियो वी जस्ट लर्न अबाउट द थेरम इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थेरम द थेरम ऑफ एरियाज ऑफ सिमिलर ट्राइंगल ओके सो सो द थेरम से इज दैट वेन टू ट्राइंगल्स आर सिमिलर द रेशोज ऑफ एरिया of this triangle is equal to the ratio of square of corresponding sides okay so in this figure a uh, triangle abc and triangle pqr so what is the given actually triangle abc is similar to triangle pqr that means when two triangles are similar that is given condition so abc is similar to triangle pqr and in this triangle you just see ad is perpendicular to bc and this ps is perpendicular to qr so i just write ad perpendicular to bc and ps perpendicular to qr okay now we want to prove that now remaining part is there the ratios of areas of this triangle so what we want to prove to prove it is very simple mathematics is very simple just read it and write it okay so the ratios of areas of this triangle so i just write ratio area of triangle abc divided by area of triangle pqr the ratio is equal to the ratios of square of corresponding side so corresponding side ab correspond to pq bc correspond to qr and ac correspond to pr okay this is one to one correspondence so the ratio of square of corresponding side so i just write ab square so what is the corresponding side of ab it is pq it is pq square is equal to i just take next bc so corresponding is qr so bc square upon qr square is equal to ac square upon pr square ac square upon pr square this we want to prove so we just prove it area of triangle is equal to the ratios of corresponding side now now concentrate the triangle abd and triangle pqs i just write triangle abd and triangle pqs so abd and pqs we want to prove that angle b corres because triangle abc and pqr they are similar one and we know that in a similar triangle the angles are congruent so angle b is congruent to angle p this is what actually given because the triangles are similar one then angle adb it is 90 degree and angle psq it is also 90 degree so we just write angle adb is congruent to angle psq both are 90 degree and it is what is the given condition is there so we know that there are two angles are congruent in a triangle it means that triangle abd is similar to triangle pqs by a test and when the triangles are similar through a test the remaining sides are corresponding to each other so i just write ab divided by pq is equal to ad divided by ps so ab divided by pq is equal to ad divided by ps now just concentrate the given triangle this is our triangle the equation number 1 so given triangle is triangle abc is similar to triangle pqr okay so triangle abc is similar to triangle pqr so i just write here is ab divided by pq is equal to bc divided by qr okay so this is equation number 2 but what actually we are going to prove that ab square upon pq square now the condition is that area of triangle abc upon area of triangle pqr is equal to so i just write area is equal to 1 by 2 base into height so base is bc height is ad so i just write bc into ad upon what is the area of pqr base is qr height is ps so here is qr into ps okay i just separate it so here is bc upon qr into ad upon ps okay 
ओके सो एरिया ऑफ ट्रायंगल एबीसी अपॉन एरिया ऑफ ट्रायंगल पीक्यूआर इज इक्वल टू बीसी अपॉन क्यूआर इनटू एडी अपॉन पीएस नाउ कंसंट्रेट इक्वेशन 1 एंड 2 आई जस्ट रिप्लेस द वैल्यू एडी अपॉन पीएस ओके नाउ व्हाट इज एडी अपॉन पीएस इट इज एबी अपॉन पीक्यू बिकॉज़ एबीडी इज सिमिलर टू पीक्यूआर नाउ कम टू इक्वेशन नंबर 2 व्हाट इज एबी अपॉन पीक्यू AB upon PQ is equal to BC upon QR. There is a transitivity 1 to 2, 2 to 3, that is 1 to 3. So AD upon PS is equal to AB upon PQ. And AB upon PQ is equal to BC upon QR. Concentrate these two equations. It means that AD upon PS is equal to BC upon QR. So I just replace AD upon PS by BC upon QR. My equation becomes triangle A, area of triangle ABC upon area of triangle PQR is equal to BC upon QR into AD upon PS. I just replace AD by PS with BC by QR. So is equal to BC upon QR into BC upon QR. So BC into BC that is BC square upon QR square. That is area of triangle ABC upon area of triangle PQR is equal to BC square upon QR square. So, BC square upon QR square. In the same way, we just prove that ABC, area of triangle ABC upon area of triangle PQR is equal to AB square upon PQ square is equal to BC square upon QR square is equal to AC square upon PR square. Okay, because all sides are corresponding when the triangles are similar. So, this is problem related to the areas of similar triangle. The ratios of corresponding sides of similar triangle is 5 is to 7. We just find the areas of triangle. Just before we just prove that Area of similar triangle, ratios of area of similar triangle is equal to the ratios of square of their corresponding sides. So, S1 square upon S2 square. Okay, because there is no, uh, give the name of triangle, I just write S1, S2 as a side, A1, A2 as the area. So, what is S1, S2 given? It is 5 is to 7. So, area is equal to 5 square upon 7 square. Here is A1, is A1 by A2. So, A1 by A2, 5 square is equal to 25, 7 square is equal to 49. So, what is ratio here is A1 by A2 is equal to 25 by 49 or 25 is to 49. Okay. So, second example is that areas of two similar triangles are 225 square meter centimeter and 81 square centimeter. If the side of smaller triangle is 12, then find the corresponding side of bigger triangle. Okay. When you read the problem, we just see that triangles are similar. Sides area is given, so we are using the theorem of similar triangle. So what the theorem says, A1 by A2, that is ratios of their area, is equal to the square of corresponding side. So here is S1 square upon S2 square. So A1 side, S1 is a side of triangle A1, whose area is A1. So I just wrote, now here is very simple one, one thing is noted, the smaller side is given, so, when smaller side is given, area must be small one. Okay. So, uh, this is A1 is a bigger side, which is assumed that. So, I just write 225 divided by 81. Area of A1 is 225. Area of A2 is 81. So, obviously, A1 is a bigger triangle because area is more, triangle is side is more. So, we just find the corresponding side of bigger triangle. So, here is S1 square. I just write S1 square as S1 square. Because we just find the value of S1. And what is S2 is given? S2 is 12. So, here is 12 square. Okay. Now, I just solve it. We just have the cross multiplication or doing in anything related to your mind what says. So, what I see here, both sides there is a square number. I just have the square root of both sides to minimize the uh, calculation. So, I just uh, taking square root of both side. So what is the square root of 225? It is 15. What is square root of 81? It is 9. What is square root of S1 square? It is S1. And what is square root of 12 square? It is 12. Very simple. Just cross multiply it. S1 into 9 is equal to 15 into 12. So S1 is equal to just 9 is in multiplication. It goes to division because we know the law of algebra. When there is a multiplication, change side, it goes to division. So 15 into 12 by 9. So 3 3s are 9, 3 4s are 12, 3 1s are 3 5s are. So S1 is 20. What is S1? It is a bigger side of triangle.
okay so bigger side of triangle is 20 so we just saw the example 3 so what the example given triangle xyz is similar to triangle abc so these two triangles are similar that is given one yp is perpendicular to xz so here is yp perpendicular to xz and bd is perpendicular to ac yp is given it should be 9 and bd is given it is 4 so we want to find the areas of triangles of ratios of area of triangle of xyz and abc so we know the areas ratios of area is equal to the square of their corresponding side but actually the sides of triangle abc and abc they are not given they just given the perpendicular one okay so we want to prove that this is similar to the side of the given triangle okay so what given is triangle xyz is similar to triangle abc this is the given condition that means that the corresponding side of these triangles are uh, similar one so uh, the ratios of areas we just find from this one and uh, angles are equal okay now we want to find the area of triangle so before going to find the area of triangle i just find here is triangle yxp and triangle bad so triangle yxp and triangle bad so in yxp and bad angle x is congruent to angle a angle x is congruent to angle a because triangle xyz and abc are similar and we know that in similar triangles corresponding angles are congruent okay so this is what the given condition now angle ypx angle ypx it is 90 degree this 90 is it is also 90 is congruent to angle bda this is also 90 degree so these 90 degree are congruent to each other therefore in a triangle in a two triangles two angles are congruent it means that these two triangles are similar by a test so we just write triangle yxp is similar to triangle bad by a test okay and the when the triangles are similar the sides are in proportion corresponding sides are in proportion so i just write the corresponding side as yx upon ba is equal to yp upon bd okay but yp and bd they are the given one so yp upon bd is 9 bd is 4 so your yx upon ba is equal to 9 by 4 now this yx and ba are the sides of the given triangle so it is very easy to find the area so area of triangle ab uh, sorry xyz upon area of triangle abc is equal to these two triangles are similar that means that their areas of ratios of their area is equal to the ratios of square of corresponding side so i just write the side here so side is yx upon so yx square upon ba square okay so y x upon b is given it is 9 by 4 so here is 9 square upon 4 square so 9 square is 81 4 square is 36 therefore area of triangle so sorry i just 4 square is 16 so area of triangle xyz upon area of triangle abc is equal to 81 upon 16 that is 81 is to 16 okay Okay, if you are having any queries or any problem related to the theorem, theorem of areas of similar triangle, you just comment me. I will solve your all queries. Thank you.